Hello. In my last video, I had a, a comment from the user Mythical T asking if I knew how to decompile tmod files. Um, you might want to do this if you've lost your own source code or you wish to analyze somebody else's. And um, I'll, I'll be showing this using a MacBook, but I'm, I'm sure it's similar using a, a Windows computer. Um, if you have any problems, I can I can make a separate video for Windows. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to this page. Um, I'm going to download the OS X 64 uh, zip file. I will link this website in the description. So what we now want to do is move the IL spy application to our applications folder. So we should be able to run it now. Oh, if this comes up, all we have to do is go to our system preferences, go to security and privacy. Um, oh, actually, there we go. Open anyway. Um, now that we've got it open, we're we're going to find the mod that we want to decompile in tmod loader. So, for reference sake, um, I'm going to decompile my own mod. Um, I'm going to click on more info, then extract, and here we have a folder of these files here. We're now going to want to drag in all of these files. And you should see this, the mod named or XNA, and it shouldn't have any warnings. You can click on it, decompiles, and you don't see much, but it has done something. Um, the reason I've used my mod is because I can compare it um, with the actual source code. So if we have a look, I've got these two, the items, I've got these two classes. I've got Feeble Rod and I've got Progressive Knife. So if we go back now to IL Spy, we right click on um, this. Actually, it doesn't matter. We, we can either right click and um, save code or we can just go into the top left file save code and um, I'll save it as um, rodtutorial.cs and I will just put that um, on my desktop um, now if I close IL spy and I should be able to find rodtutorial.cs, drop that in here. Oh dear. Um, actually, it doesn't matter. We can just open it. Here we go. This is what it decompiled. We've got inside of the tutorial.items, we've got feeble rod, which is the same as this. Um, and we've got progressive knife. It's obviously a little bit different. Not everything matches up. But, um, for example, feeble, feeble rod. Um, we've got the set default. The sword isn't so feeble. Um, the sword isn't so feeble, etc. We've got... Um, damage a thousand damage a thousand um this is going to take some sort of intuition i guess to like revert it back to what it really is but this gives you a very good indication you know it appears shinji akari blah 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 blah, blah. this is all the same all of these values um so this is the best you can do when decompiling um tmod fo uh, files um, so mystic mystical t i hope this helped you somewhat um, and yeah thanks for watching